Well, oh, okay. The, that can knock better not attack me. I'm just trying to do an intro here, man. I'm just trying to do an intro. Oh, oh, can you not? <laughs> As if it wanders all the way over to me like that. Really, dude? Welcome back to Kotar 2 Dark Side Part 6. Uh, today we're going to try to finish Telos. Uh, it's a bit of an endeavor, but we'll try. Uh, let's attack this Kanak. Okay, good. Screw that guy, you know? Imagine coming over and attacking me when I'm just trying to make an intro, you know? You know what? All these Canucks should die now. I don't want to hear it, chat. They attacked me. I should probably give Bayodur a weapon, eh? You know? It's probably a good idea, chat. How's your day going, chat? Doing good? Better be. I'm guessing Beodur has default damage resistance of some kind. I don't wanna have to give him armor. Although I probably can. See here. What is it? Yeah. Let's just pretend he's not in a Sith suit for a bit. How about that? Let me uh, pick up this quickly. Update my information so I'm in the right category on Twitch. Almost good. There we go, chat. We're good now. Had to make sure I was in the right category. Mercenaries, right where we need to go. That sentry droid probably spotted us already. They were probably looking for me when they saw your shuttle go down. To know, as you remember, chat part five, our shuttle went down. Unlucky, unlucky, dude. Hit an attack, please. Bro. Why am I missing every attack? What's happening? I actually don't understand. I actually don't. I hit my to hit should be high enough. Should definitely be high enough. The sentry droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby. Wait, bounty? Why is there a bounty on your head? I don't think so. You'll have to come through me if you want to take the general. I'm hitting sometimes just fine. Yeah, I don't understand. 
I'm attacking a minor frag mine, according to the game. Okay, good job, Kraya. I don't know, my two hits, like, just barely not high enough, it, it seems. One more improvement should fix it. I always feel a sense of calm when I walk the surface of Telos. The Athorians are truly amazing in their work. The force is strong here. Whether Chamberlain and his heart has anything to do with that is another matter. Can you feel anything? That is good. As a breeze may swiftly turn to a gale, you are slowly beginning to be reopened to the force. Quiet. There's a large mercenary patrol up ahead. If we move carefully along the perimeter, we may be able to get by without their spotting us. We could cross along the shore, or head along the cliffs to the south. Bold. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, I want the XP for killing them. I mean, I'm going to stick to the beach for a bit, because I want the loot over here. But in general, I want them dead. I want their XP. Also, there's a Kanoth just standing here, not attacking us. No, I wanted to zap the veteran mercenary, you bitch. We easily clap them, chat. First time in a long time on med pack. No more remains? Not even the veteran has like a key or something? I don't know. Feels weird to me. <laughs> Does that have fun with the uh sounds. Choke, wound, stun. Extra lightning damage, I guess. Don't really see why not. Can't take another, like, uh, actual buff. In a moment here, we're going to move on. Should be like just up here, I think. Yeah, there's a bunch of mines. Yada yada minefield. Let's go. Are they all minor frag mines? Alright. That works too. Yes. Hmm. 
You know what? Hello? I'm gonna save quick. Just in case. I really wish I'd used for or I'd learned Force Channel already. Yes. Um, Korea using Jedi support is probably better. Only the rest of us on aggressive. Bro, how rude. the remains. I find it weird that none of these people have remains. I swear to god they used to, unless it's still RNG. I mean all of the, I mean technically most of it's RNG in this game, but what is it? Let's go. I hear you. Let's go. What is it? I feel like that fight with that girl is just to take up my force energy before I approach this camp. Like, I just have to regen force energy, chat. It sucks. Like, I'm just gonna stand here for a, a good 30 seconds. Like, I'm weak without force energy. Like, pretty weak, at least. Because I'm a dark side. Dark side does a lot of damage through, like, powers. Like, my, uh... Also, I'm a consular dark side, so... Like, my sword ability... Like, that's another reason I'm missing, too, is because I'm a consular. Like, just straight up because I'm a consular. It's a negative effect on stuff. We'll wait in a couple of seconds here. Answer my girlfriend while we wait. Might as well wait for my force energy while I do it. There we go. There's the landing pad. There should be a computer terminal I can access from there. Looks like we're gonna have to find our way there, though. Look sharp. What do we have here? The Jedi. Saves us the trouble of looking for you. Corin Fault did say you were dangerous. Maybe he does know what he's talking about. We'll see. You may have caught a few of my boys off guard, but let's see how you fight now, Jedi. Attack! Stop it. That's it. Just stop it. If I disappear for a bit, my headset's being stupid, and I'll just try to fix it later. But if I, I'm just playing in no voice for a bit. It hasn't really happened yet, but it's gonna happen eventually, where I just can't talk for like 10 minutes. I'm just gonna play the game this way. It is a story game in chat, though. If that happens anytime, chat, just enjoy the story. Like, I, I, there's days where I should just shut up, anyways, in this, in this game, so. Aha! Bruh, I wanna wear that robe though. That's a really good robe. If I remember correctly, it's really good. Yes. 
Let's get some energy back. Also, we uh, don't actually have to fight anybody else here. We can, though. I'm going to for XP. The all-important XP in this game. But Bayodur can use this terminal already to open up doors and stuff. Hopefully, I'll be able to access the shield network from this console. Good. It's functional. My passcodes still work. Now let's find your ship. The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. Telos' atmosphere has been turned into acidic vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry Mylocks. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or other listed facility. That's why I need access to the shield network. Here, a small anomaly in the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle, more like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region, but nothing should be down there. Orbital camera show. Nothing, just an empty mesa. We should investigate this. I feel this is the best bet of finding the Ebon Hawk. That's a little tougher. According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. Okay, chat. My headset, though, bro. You know? To stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. There's one other small problem. Recently, the things that were sent to the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. Uh, okay. Maybe we're good now. I'm not even sure why Zerka teams would be fa- Ah, uh, well, Zerka kind of sucks, that's why. I was confused about why the hell they are possibly... ...not coming back. It's just like... Why am I unarmed now? Oh, I accidentally unequip weapons. Right, equip weapons. Oops, awkward. Not in combat game, please stop. Thank you. Any remains over here? Nope. I don't know if there's any other mercenaries to kill. A couple of little stragglers over here. No, I never use grenades. Let's use a grenade. Uh. Yeah? Jesus, Lord. Yeah. Ooh, 120 credits. Nice. Money's money. You move, video. Thank you. I might as well go inside. I think that's everybody. I guess I want to sell these mines later. Or use them on the droid or something. Cover them quick. Yes. I wonder which military even used this station. Was it. The Telos have their own military? I hear you. Let's go. What is it? The sum of mine. Alright, Beodor. 
stand back. The Zerka mercenaries were a little surprised when I broke my way out of my holding cell. The shields there were even weaker than these, after you. Yeah? I think I just got a lightsaber crystal ion thing, like actually. Unless that was something else I didn't notice. Gas vents are so annoying in this place. I got my administrative ID. Are you always having two attacks per turn too is OP? By that I mean simply like there's two attacks per turn because I have two attacks because it's the uh what is it? I have to be bailed there. I didn't know if I had to be bailed there. I didn't know if I just needed to do the introduction. What is it? Yes. General, need something. I didn't know, I didn't Yes. Let's go. No. Hello, FPS? Good lord. Oh, that's, my game's bugging. That's why. I should be close to leveling up, but they leveled up. One orbital shuttle. Looks like it's in serviceable condition. That's all a moot point, though. The hangar bay doors are closed. I don't fancy flying the shuttle through solid metal, so I'd say we need to find a way to get them open. We'll also need to find the ignition codes for the shuttle, or else we'll have some trouble getting off the ground. If we get all that, I wouldn't worry about what shape this heap is in. I'll get it running. Not sure why he was all the way over there, but okay. Do deal with that fucking shit anymore. What is it? Let's go. Bayo door better at breaking down doors. Oh. Yeah, security skill actually. So uh yeah, you'd say at least, right? 
Ah, okay, reactor. What is it? Yeah? I'll have this open in no time. Aha, uh -huh. I have a new lightsaber form that I literally can't use yet because I don't have a fucking lightsaber. <laughs> I really should invest in force suppression and force breach soon. Because it's super worth having. I honestly think I'm strong enough for now, so I'm going to start investing in force suppression and stuff. I'm going to need it to fight Jedi, because they're going to use, like, aura and fucking force shield and whole bunch of other crap, and I have to be able to break that. I mean, I can just get good enough and just tank the damage they'll do to me and then just kill them anyways, but... It's genuinely safer to just force breach them. It's one it's one cast, and as a consular, I can cast a lot. So... Like, even at level 11 out of 30, 30 being a max rank, I can cast a lot, chat, like... ダンマチャモレチワ No, I can't open that? Okay. Be able to, like, security it? This is too tough for me. Oh, I have to open it with explosive. I don't really know. care enough to. I forgot that's what you gotta do with the damaged ones. I forgot that. I forgot about that in the base, too. And I don't have demolition skills, so I can't do it. That's why I forgot about it. Uh, so, for example, Beodur can. But it won't damage anybody, will it? I guess that was worth it for two med packs. It's whatever. I think battle meditation really fits. Um, the exile, like well, because um, he's so good at he's he or she I should say because it's technically a she is really charismatic and like battle meditating and making people better at fighting is seriously like. Sounds very I shouldn't have did that, actually. I did that last time, too, and I forgot. I should have waited and came back and killed them. Because you get literally more XP for doing it, like, killing them than overloading their cages. Oh, well. Not the biggest deal, I suppose. If I drop frames the next few days, chat, by the way, on any game, it's not really my fault. It's the... Like internet usage, everyone's using. This is currently being like I'm I'm streaming right now and making Kotar one and two have been being made during coronavirus and all that fucking bullshit. So people are using a lot of internet because they're at home a lot. So literally, people's like streams are always lagging. Like so, like not always, but from time to time, my internet like at like nine o'clock at night, I can't I can't stream unless I I want to deal with some lag because it's just trash. There's too many. There's too much internet usage in most areas of the world. Which is fine, but I hear you. too many people playing games, but mostly too many people watching Netflix is what it is. Ouch. 
Netflix uses so much of the world's internet, it's ridiculous. Yes. What's going on? Like, it's actually ridiculous, chat. It's unbelievable how much internet you, that, that shit uses. Like a mini basilisk wardroid, dude. Angry looking. That was in sync, that was cool. Yeah, right now I'd be back into this room with some droids about to fight me, and I would I would be able to kill them from our XP. So. Wait, can you not? Can you even go to the sub level? Wait. What's even down there? Like how that droid just eventually just malfunctions and self-destructs into a million pieces. I don't know how to get to the sub-level. Can you even do that, chat? I swear I've been down there, but I also feel like maybe it was cut from the game. Ah, it is it's cut content. Interesting. They just forgot to remove the door. Or left it in there for like to make it feel secretive or something. I don't know. It's it's cut content. You're not supposed to actually be able to go down there anymore because there was nothing. There was apparently something supposed to be down there, but the restored content mod apparently does stuff with that, so that doesn't surprise me. That's the, the, the la that's probably the last time I'll play this game until I play restored content. Because I want to play restored content for this. this. The base game is still beautiful, but... And nobody can tell me otherwise. Easy. No, okay. Really, I can't loot that thing. I could have swore you could loot that thing. How many? Wait, how many buffs do I need? Holy crap, Chad! Are you seeing this? It won't even list them. Wait. Usually, it lists your buffs. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Now. Huh, maybe that was Kotar 1 it lists your buffs. I think it was Kotar 1 it listed. Right, I have to go turn on... Right, 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 right. Yada, yada, yada.
Alright. Bill Bro Sword doesn't have hyperdrive, but I can get you to the registration zone once you have access to the ignition codes. Wait. Where are the ignition codes? I think I remember, actually. Oh, it wasn't in here. It's definitely like... I just get computer spikes and concussion grenades, I guess. Yes. Not that I'm complaining, I just it's such a random reward for killing a droid. There's the ignition code to the orbital shuttle in the underground hangar. See? I was saying, I'm pretty sure they're in this room. Easy. Statement. We have arrived too late. The target has invaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. We like crashing. That's the second time we'd have been shot down on the same day, wouldn't it? Well, at least about the same day. Time progression is kind of like... Uh, you know, not really explained to you. It usually takes many days to do, like, even full space travel, so, like... There you are. It has been extremely difficult to track you down, Jedi. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. I love that.
important lore incoming. Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi Academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the That's galaxy. That's the best like place for it. On but this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current. Deep, deeper to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah. And there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You feel the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scow like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of the Jarek can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted no. enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment <coughs> approaches. Oh. 
I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Yet here you are. Perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the Council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that we were right to cast you out? You and all the Jedi who followed Revan caused the Jedi Civil War. It was because the need to wage war burned within you. The Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words, your defiance, and when you stabbed your lightsaber into the center stone. I had kept so I would never forget. I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it, so I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. It is not yours. It is a symbol of something greater which you no longer represent. But I am not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you. Yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. So your choice was to meet the aggression of the Mandalorians with more aggression. That is not the Jedi way. understand that, but... Every choice we make, whether we know it or not, sends echoes through the Force. It can awaken feelings, ignite passions, hate, anger, fear, where none existed before. By meeting aggression, by serving as an opponent against which the Mandalorians could test themselves, you fed their hate, their lust for war. And it sent a terrible echo through you. And because of it, you and those Jedi who met them on the battlefield lost their way. And you turned on us. Of course I was. But the Jedi teachings require we examine how we may best help them. Action without reflection is not our way. There was no guarantee that marching to war would have saved the Outer Rim. In fact, quite the opposite. A physical victory, perhaps, but the real victory lay in... Do not twist my words. A physical victory is not the only victory, or the only loss. You do not know... How dare you? The Mandalorian Wars should have been your grave, and Malachor V is where you should have died. You see shadows where there are none, and hate where there is none. You are blind, as always. I tire of fighting with you. You lust for war, and you always will, and you have succeeded in distracting me from my questions. So answer me. If you cannot seem to admit the Council was correct, then why are you here? ship. Ah, the Ebon Hall. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. Mm. 
The Ebon Hawk is here, safe. Its records and Navi computer are being dissected to determine what caused the destruction of the Paragus facility. We're having some trouble with the Navi computer, but I think with your cooperation, willing or otherwise, that will cease to be an obstacle. If it is your ship, perhaps I should be questioning you as to what happened and why you destroyed the facility and murdered all the miners stationed there. A facility of over 150 personnel, all dead before you arrived. A childish story to mask your crime. And with the facility destroyed, you think there is no way to confirm your story. But I will pry the truth from you, I promise you that. I can't just tell her? That makes no sense. I, I, I'm admittedly annoyed. Necessary? The destruction of Paragus was necessary? You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? No. Your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 worlds. Why can't I tell her about worlds. the Sith? I don't understand. Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. The Sith? What do you mean? You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. You? If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. Whatever force they can bring to bear, it will matter not. If they face a true Jedi, they shall fall. We shall see. For now, the perspective on your situation has changed. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go, just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove him, mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachments. As always, he will do as he wills. And the galaxy and the feelings of others can burn for all he cares. The day we judged him, I stood in the chamber and he was, he was so right. He was so certain of it, I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, Mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here.
What? I, what? After all that, I got light side points? I. Okay. <laughs> The exile, the one Atris warned us about. She said, You betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. That is not all she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. Atris says when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with him, because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the Force. I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Yes, it is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. <laughs> it may prove truer than conversing with words. In battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy. Sacrifice, anger, fear, these are pure moments of expression. You may ask. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. There is no need to apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There is no wrong in that. It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. You may ask. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Please, I wish to know. I see. Thank you, Exile. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. I didn't want light side points for that, well, it's fine. Barely get any half done. Go grab our ship and the episode. Did you find what you came for? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students, and this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. It is. Plans are fragile things, and life often dashes expectations to the ground. Perhaps students will come to her in time. 
For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the Force. Very well. Let us depart. I thought you can hear Atten's body hit the ground. I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness. Just because he's supposed to be on the ground? I will not, General. The attack was unexpected, but I will not let down my guard again. What is this place? Where are we? This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. Very well, General. I will await your arrival. I'll get that influence back. Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid, says you. Mistress, the last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. Left? But why? Her oath. Her reasons are unknown to me. But I fear she may no longer be trusted. We will save her if we can, but we must let her discover the exile's nature for herself. Some evils must be confronted, and isolation from it would have been no defense. Mine now. Well, now that we're off that Dejaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines.
Do you know why we have called you here? As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? It is good you recognize this. It means you will understand why you must leave us. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Much defiance in that one. You are correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there. More like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm. And Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the Dark Side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. <clears throat> this one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not dead. Many battles remained for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? Those are Atris's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Well, we don't want your help. Or any of your sisters. It is just me. And I am doing this because Atris believes you will need help. I think the strength of the enemy is unknown. But it is greater than five can hope to defeat without aid. Indeed. But of course, what does one more matter to our journey? I have had enough of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. 
But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. General. The cargo hold is enough. I assure you, there is little I need. I will attend to myself. It is no matter. I am used to worse conditions, but thank you for your kindness. carry a lightsaber anymore? That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but you know that. I don't know, General, but whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you, and if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. If it wasn't for me, we'd all be floating in space. I think I can handle a few repairs to your circuits. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. Hey, look, we can play the game again. <laughs> uh, next time, part 7, I will... Uh, we'll start uh, Dantooine. Because uh, that's the best plan to start to get your lightsaber quicker and to get stronger and stronger. We're almost actually prestiged already, and we're not even, we're just starting planets, for God's sakes. 